Uh, Ken Spring. In spring, Longview, I'm afraid I'm not going to be as nice as some of the other people. And uh, I, I wasn't going to come here anymore because you guys might as well be reading the paper, watching TV, rather than listen to me because I've been complaining about the water ever since its inception and all the money you've wasted on the water and uh, having a fireworks uh, uh, sales around here. You can see California's burning, Oregon burned, but yet you haven't done a damn thing about the fireworks thing that I can see. And now you're trying to dismantle the housing authority. I, I don't, I know one person on it. And uh, I, 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 I know some of the things. I just can't believe the change that he's made being around the rest of you. Don, I've known you 65 years. And I would have never dreamed that you would be like you are. And uh, uh, you guys are, to me, it's a conspiracy. You take the red pill, you go down the rabbit hole, and I'll show you how far it goes. The CIA in the 60s, I'm going to cover this history later, they developed the term conspiracy theory for pseudo-intellectuals that get hurt by learned men and women. You guys uh, communicating back and forth and that. This is a good outfit. And what the heck is the matter with you guys? Like the guy before me. I agree with all the people that was before me. You people, uh, between Mr. Moon to get okay. their friend in office, they spent tens of thousands of dollars. As a matter of fact, I know exactly uh, what that was all about. In what time zone or time warp did I enter, man? Everything. And Melanie pats himself uh, on the speak back. Speak to me, uh, Ken. I, I heard him on the radio. Ken, Ken, uh, Ken. I heard him on... Hey, Don, Don't this is the Fourth Amendment uh, right of mine, and I'm going to take it, Don. No, you're not. Are you going to have me put in jail? Yes. 65 years we've known each other, yes. and you've turned into a complete baboon. Thank That's you. what you are. Thank you. And I don't understand why you would dismantle a good outfit like this. And I can't, I, um, Mary Jane, uh, I gotta apologize for some of the things I've said about you. Uh, you're on the right track on this one. But uh, I'll tell you, the rest of you guys, I wouldn't hire you to empty my garbage. Thank you. Especially you, Jensen. The guy from uh, the Punisher squad just showed up at our door. Curtis Hart is his name. Not because you're Jason fucking Freeman. Curtis Hart is his name. Not because you're Jason fucking Freeman. I'm not going to suck your dick. Oh, that's too bad, because you would fucking yep. enjoy it, I'm sure. Everybody's okay. like, Curtis, because you're not fucking cuss so much, because you just towed it back. Oh, you're a fucking killer, dude. Did you realize that you have a really funny looking dick? I come at you with the pure, uncut, raw, Liberty and it's fucking pure form. Your First Amendment is there to protect people like this fucking asshole right here.